So for the materials that you'll need uh, to expose your screen, you want to make sure that you have a screen that's already coated with photo emulsion. So this one is coated with photo emulsion and has already been completely dried. So um, if you don't know how to coat your screen, you can refer to the previous video about coating screens with photo emulsion. But you want to make sure that you have your screen coated and that it has been drying in a dark room. Um, until it's dry to touch. So make sure that you guys dry this screen in a dark room before you're ready to expose it. And down here, I have a couple of transparencies. Um, it's kind of hard to see in this light because we're in the dark room right now. And the table is red, but <laughs> I have a couple of transparencies that I drawn um, using the zig opaque markers so you guys can either hand draw your transparencies or you can print them off um, either through an inkjet or laser printer on transparency film or you can get them printed off in the photo lab downstairs um, or you can draw them by hand like I did uh, with either like these little zig red opaque pens or you can use um, oil paint markers or any sort of like light blocking substance. So over here is the setup that I have uh, for the little halogen exposure unit that I'm going to be using. If you guys want to create this model and use this um, as a way to expose your screens and to make this out of like the PVC pipe and stuff, you can refer to the PowerPoint presentation that I had made or ask me for instructions if you're in my intro to screen printing class. Um, but essentially all you really need for this process to expose your screens at home is a halogen light here, um, a piece of foam board that is covered either in black cloth or you can use black paint or anything that's dark and black because um, we're going to press this up against our screens. And then I have here just a sheet of glass that doesn't have like a UV filter or anything in it um, that I'm going to rest on top of my screen in between uh, and have my transparency in between the glass and my screen. Um, so as long as you guys have the halogen light and the foam board and the glass, you should be okay. Um, you don't necessarily have to build this thing out of PVC pipe. Um, however, it will make your life a little bit easier. So, um, and this is the setup that I'm going to show you guys how to expose your screens with today. Prior to shooting um, this tutorial, I had already uh, tested my exposure times for different transparencies and different processes. Um, and I found that using uh, the 500 watt halogen light that like around three to five minutes yielded the best results. However, I do recommend that you guys doing this at home, um, test your exposure times for different transparencies before you go ahead and shoot your final exposure, uh, just so you can get like a better grasp on like what will work best for you. Um, Cause you know, whatever, different situations, like I said, will yield different results. So um, yeah, so I had just made a little um, note here in my notebook about different transparencies. So I have the zig markers at the top here, um, a printed transparency, just line work from the photo lab, and then a CMYK transparency as well. I have my piece of foam board here that is covered in black cloth, and I am going to take my screen that is unexposed and I'm going to go ahead and put the foam board to fit snugly in my screen. So um, I combined two one inch boards together to create a two inch board, but you can go ahead and buy a two inch board. But um, you want to make sure that it fits within the inner part of your screen here, so within the inner perimeter, and that it fits pretty snugly because we don't want any light to be like peeking through. So you want to put your foam board in there. And then what you're going to do next is we're going to take our transparencies. So 
I think I'm going to expose two at a time. Um, you can expose more than one transparency at a time if you want, um, and then cover up each one as you're working on like one certain layer um, to sort of like save time and to, you know, save screen space and stuff. So uh, I think I'm going to expose these two at the same time. I think it should be fine. So I'm going to put these guys around the center-ish of my screen. Yeah, if I expose them, yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm just talking to myself. Um, when you're exposing your transparencies, you want to make sure that uh, since we're going to be putting them face down on top of our screen, um, that if you have any text or anything, that it's going to be actually looking backwards. Um, that way, when you like go to actually print it, it will read forwards. It's kind of confusing. I know. I wish I had a text um, transparency to show you guys, but I don't. Um, however, with screen printing, it is the only like form of printmaking where you don't have to reverse your letters. So make sure that when you guys are exposing your screens, if you do have text on your transparency, that you're aware that the text is going to be reading the correct way when you go to print it. So make sure that you expose it in the correct orientation. Um, but yeah, you wanna make sure in general, regardless if you have text or not, that your images are roughly in the middle portion of your screen. So you don't want to expose an image too close to any edge because when you go to print that will cause like uneven pressure and you'll get a really like kind of crappy print. So we always want to make sure that our images are as close to the middle as possible. Um, and about like, I don't know, this is probably like three to four inches away from the metal frame of my screen. So anyway, so um, I've got my transparencies down roughly where I want them. I'm going to put the glass over top of it as so and then I have a timer on my phone um, that I'm gonna set to whoops that's not my timer <laughs> okay that I'm gonna set to about three minutes here um, because that's what I determined was the best exposure time for this so I'm going to set this guy to three minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and plug in the halogen light and click start. So I'm letting this expose for the entire three minutes and I'm not touching it, not messing with it. I'm just letting it do its thing. I'm going to keep that light on until my little three minute timer is up. And then I'm going to remove the glass, remove the transparencies, and remove the foam board. And then take my screen to the washout booth to just gently rinse out until my transparency has come all the way through. So now that my timer's up, I'm going to unplug the halogen lamp here. And then I'm going to take off the glass from the top of my screen. I'm going to remove my transparencies and set them aside and then take the screen out from the foam board and I'm going to go ahead and take this guy to the washout booth and I'm going to rinse it out until all the stuff that was exposed falls out of my screen. I'm in the washout sink here, but um, at home you can do this either with a hose in your backyard or you can do it um, in your bathtub or wherever. Um, and I've got a light shining behind my screen just so I can see like all the stuff falling out of my screen while I rinse it out. Um, but you don't necessarily need to have a light shining behind your screen. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and gently rinse out my screen until everything that was exposed falls out and makes my stencil. So all the stuff has fallen out of my screen that I want to fall out um, and my transparencies have are showing up I think all the way through so what I'm gonna do now is 
I'm gonna let this dry in front of a fan for about like again 10 to 15 minutes until it's completely dry and then once it's dry it'll be ready to print.